her 9000's game room. So after we've had all of these mini consoles, Capcom strolled into the arena with their own console filled with built-in titles. But they're not the titles from a home console, they're instead arcade games. And the console is not exactly mini, it's a giant double arcade stick setup that's made to look like a big company logo. And I just felt I had to briefly talk about it. Mostly why I'm not going to be buying it. One of the main reasons is the darn size of it. The thing's massive and only has 16 games on it. Sure, I bet someone will be able to hack it and add more, but then you could get a much smaller console and add games to that. I think some of these companies, like Capcom when they've come into this, have missed out on the fact that with the main emulator and other various bits of software, people can build a mini PC or Pi unit that will play absolutely piles of games. This is what happens when you leave your back catalogue for years and years with no real way for anyone to play it other than piracy. Capcom could have made a lot more money releasing these games over the years on newer systems, making them cheap and getting us invested. But by the time they've decided to do something about it, everybody has like 200 arcade files on their PC. If there's anything I've learned as a gamer, it's the fact that huge things, be they Guitar Hero, drum kits or whatever, they soon become a giant pain, as you have to start pondering where the heck it's going to live when it's not in use. OK, so I should briefly talk about what is on this machine for those that decide to buy it. Or you get 1944 The Loop Master, Alien vs Predator, Armoured Warriors, Capcom Sports Club, Captain Commando, Cyberbots Full Metal Madness, Darkstalkers The Night Warriors, Eco Fighters, Final Flight, Ghouls and Ghosts, Giga Wing, Mega Man the Power Battle, Pro Gear, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting, Strider, and Super Puzzle Fighter 2 Turbo. It's not a bad collection of games, but look, even if you're not into the whole emulation or messing with pies thing, and you just want to throw your cash out and get games, well, for about £120 you get a second hand Xbox One, for £16 you could grab the seven game Capcom beat em up bundle I recently reviewed. You could buy the Capcom Arcade Cabinet game and the all-in-one pack add-on for it for about £20 and that would add another 17 Capcom Arcade games, which would include titles such as Ghosts and Goblins, 1942 and Commander amongst others. And then you could buy the Street Fighter collection for a little more and have a big slice of Capcom stuff. And then you'd have a machine which you'd actually get a whole heap load more out of. For those I have talked to, one of the big draws of this machine is Alien vs Predator, as that particular arcade game is very fondly remembered and hasn't previously been for sale on a home format. Sure there was a SNES version, but that was more of a game of its own and not an arcade perfect rendition of its big brother or anything. I'm not trying to be too down on this thing, I really really love Capcom as a company, but I can't help but feel that eventually it would just become one more big thing filling up your wardrobe. For the room this takes up, you could have a SNES Mini, a NES Mini, the new Mini Mega Drive and the PlayStation Mini and probably still have room to spare. I just think, you know, who really is this for? If you've got that kind of room to spare, you'd get yourself an arcade machine. I think Capcom really could have done something. You could have done a mini little console and two separate arcade sticks of much smaller size but high quality. For me, this is a very, very big miss, and it's a shame. I hope that AVP will make its way onto other download services so people don't feel that they have a choice between either buying a big £200 console or illegally playing it. It would be nice for people to be able to pay a fair price and just get that game. OK, that's Kerr9000 signing off. Keep on gaming.